I'm Victoria. I'm Pamela. And I'm Kate. And today we're dishing with you from Rumberos, located at 3345 14th Street Northwest in Columbia Heights. We're here with Lee Brenner, MySpace. Do you have a MySpace page? I do. It's myspace.com slash Lee. I have that <laughs> one. Just Lee? Just Lee. You're the, are you the first you person just Lee? Yeah, how did you do that? Kicked off the last person that had it. <laughs> you do that? Okay. I, know people. I know Tom. <laughs> so MySpace, you didn't come from a social networking background. How did you end up at MySpace? I did not. I ended. I started in uh, the media world. I was at CNN for many years, and uh, MySpace brought me on to produce these town hall meetings we did back in 2007 with all the presidential candidates, and we partnered with MTV, and I was brought on to produce them, and we did town hall meetings around the country with the with now President Obama, Senator Obama at the time, Senator McCain, Senator Clinton, Senator Edwards uh, on college campuses. So got into that world before I, literally before I heard of this job, I had not been on any social network, not MySpace, Facebook, oh LinkedIn, my Twitter, gosh. nothing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Are I, you kidding me? I literally, I, I had heard about it. I used to like make fun of my friend who was on, it was on Friendster that just because I didn't understand <laughs> what it was. <laughs> So I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm on Friendster. That was, it was like the that. precursor. No, it was like oh, a okay. precursor. It was big before oh. MySpace and Facebook and Twitter, and it was, you know, it was kind of like a dating site. Um, oh, no wonder I'm not on that one. Oh, I was going to say, so that's why you were not on that one. Okay. Right, right. I never, I didn't have dates. So it was, I, just, I just gave up. It was hard. Working that was hard. hard. So are you allowed to have a Facebook page? Or I do you not, have now one? I have a, I have a page on yeah. MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, um, on LinkedIn. I've got one on everything, and you know, it's both research but I use them for different things mm -hmm. um, you know Facebook I've got a lot of, I've got a friends in this town are obviously a lot on, on Facebook right. I've got a Twitter account for you know short the short messages and have followers I've got a LinkedIn account for business purposes myspace I use for culture and music and if you know that's the only place I go and in the last two years I've been worked there I've learned more about music than I ever knew before. Well, I think that's the key. Yeah. Each one of these social mm -hmm. media networks is good for one, right. one, one specific thing, right? right? And somehow MySpace has niched itself yeah. into artists and musicians. Did you mean to do that? How did you do that? No, and I think Why because did you do that? MySpace started in LA and in the music scene, and oh. it was such an easy way to, for an upstart band to promote itself for free. They could upload their new music, they could um, tell their fans, if they were, you know, 12 fans or 12 million fans, when their next show was, and it was all free, and it was basically a free website and all these free tools, so it really spread through the music world, and it was a great way for a band that had no followers to really just right, to that get that and get it out without, you know, the marketing machine of a big label or anything else, so these bands, you know, got into it and loved it and spread the world, and spread the word about it, and then, you know, the rest of the people started following it and joining and it became a place where you could really discover new music and new culture. So, but MySpace has how many a million users There's now? There's about 72, 70 to 75 million in the U.S. In the U.S.? Yeah, and 125, okay. 130 around the world. When does it actually tap out though? I mean, what, what I guess this is a two-part question. When does it tap out and what it, would you see or foresee as the next phase of MySpace? I think, Can you tell us? You I, well, I don't, to tell you know, us? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know when it's tapped out. I mean, I think there's, you know, the fastest growing group on both on all right. social networks. There's women over 35 now, and so you know, now it, it started as kind of a youth culture thing, and I think both now parents are getting into it. And you see, and the reason that the media all of a sudden the last year or two, the mainstream media has like gotten into it, is because they're mostly over 35. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, and they just, I guess, you know, they yeah, just got into older. it. They, and they, they have just kind of gotten into it and are, are figuring it out and you're hearing about it a lot more and it's become part of the way Americans especially communicate every single day and it's the way right. they talk to each other, their friends and they Social media, spread media. their right, they spread their, their pictures that way. So I don't know when it'll tap out. I mean it's clearly still growing. Um, you know and I think it may it's gonna evolve and I think there's definitely room for all these different social networks and, right. and because each of them has kind of a different area of expertise and they're used for different things. You know, I think as the as the world of social media gets becomes more mobile and everybody's constantly doing things, right. working on their mobile device, their iPhones, their Blackberries, all that is going to become faster and easier to watch videos and YouTube videos and everything else on your mobile device. Right, right. So that's going to be a big part. And the dish. dish. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. <laughs> and it's going to be, and you're going to be able to do something that'll distribute it far and wide through MySpace, through YouTube, through Facebook. And get it out, and then you know that's a way just to market your 
whether it's a, a web series or music or you know, right. politicians. Well, this is good for your so, industry. So marketing and something other than musicians, but something that you deal specifically with is politics. And right. Obama gets all the credit for taking social media and making it a political tool, but you were doing that and actually encouraged him to do that. Yeah. So yeah. you sometimes get a little bit miffed that he's getting all the credit. Well, no, no, I mean, I, I didn't personally necessarily encourage him, but we're, I was happy, we were definitely, well, it was amazing to be him. to be a part of it, yeah, and absolutely, right. and all the major candidates had it. Um, you know, Senator McCain and Senator Obama were two of the first people to sign up to do our town hall meetings, which at the time when we did them were fully interactive. It was the first of its kind. They were ne Neither of them were leading candidates. I think they were both in third or fourth place at the right. time in their respective, primary, in the respective primaries. And within a week after each of them doing it, their numbers, Senator McCain did one in, in uh, New Hampshire, okay. Senator Obama did one in Iowa, yeah. their numbers started going up in the states. I think it's because they it was seen as them appealing to this the young, independent-minded masses and that's why so I, I do like to say that we take credit for both of them being the front runners because we really it was at that point when they kind of it switched for them and it so was you, part so of the you're strategy. basically saying my the the use of them using my space actually really did absolutely, in fact, help oh, them. absolutely. I think both yeah, 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 it's, it's, you know that. Senator Obama had uh, 60 official MySpace pages. And so they used it as part of the strategy from day one. Wow. They had their national official one, and they had one for every state. They had official, you know, Iowa on MySpace and Illinois on MySpace. And then they had one for all the major constituency groups. So they it part of, it's part of their strategy from day one, and they really were able to bring supporters offline mm -hmm. to events, fundraise, everything else, and then bring them back online and continue that conversation. So it's a model that any politician from top down to local government to student body presidents mm -hmm. up to now the White House has a MySpace right. page. It's a model that they're all trying to replicate and and you know implement into their strategies. So you mentioned the White House has a MySpace page. Do you think it should be included in the archives? Well, I think it, it will be. I mean, I literally I think right. every they something that they were working on over the last few months and why it took them a few months is because of the legal stuff that had they had to go through that the government has to go through for all these new media mm -hmm. techniques mm -hmm. and because they have to archive all these things we have to you know send um, some of the archive stuff so it can be part of the archive so yeah all this you know obviously we're not going to archive every single bulletin or everything that goes right. out right. but a lot of it is um, it was part of that because it is it's the first time that the federal government has been a part of the social media do you think we'll ever get that. regulated the social media I don't. I don't foresee it necessarily. I, hope not. Being, I know. I, I hope so. not too. I, hope I don't not. think so. I think because and I think because it's the reason it's useful is because it's unregulated. Right. Because it's about communication and community, and Absolutely. I think that's the appeal to the government is to be able to reach masses and reach their constituents and reach the American people on a mass scale in you know yeah. in an easy, free way. Well, whether you have a MySpace page or not, we hope you know a little bit about MySpace because today we actually have a contest. The winner of a question that Lee asks you, that you email to us on our website at www.thedistrictdish.com on our contact page, will win a free week at the Sports Club LA. So Lee, what do you want them to answer? The question that you can send in, and it's, you know, if you have a MySpace page, you'll, you'll clearly know this, I would think, but if you don't, it's who is everyone's first friend? Uh -oh. I said it earlier in the show, so you can actually rewind and find it. <laughs> Who's everyone's first friend? Well, you will be my right. first friend whenever I get my MySpace No, I will be your page. second friend. You'll be my second, page, yeah, second I friend. I already got the question wrong. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thank right you. Right here on The District Dish. Right.